Hi all, welcome to the Python session for data science. In this session, we will cover the topic essential for manipulating data. We'll mainly deal with pandas, numpy, and other related functions. We'll start with Pythonic dataset that I have downloaded from Kaggle.com. So let's start. In this video, we'll cover the below topic. How to create a data frame how to describe a data set data frame pandas data frame and get the essential information using the describe function third is how do we navigate the data frames? Fourth is how to select the rows based on the condition or rather how to filter. Fifth is, how do we replace a value of a cell? And the last topic to be covered in this session is, how to rename a column? So let's start. What I'll do. So, First of all, we import two libraries, which are the most important libraries for the basics. Yes. Pandas and NumPy. So, and we need to So we'll save it in some library. We'll say it as class1.py. The extension for a Python library that we save is .py. Now, please, uh, many person already knows, but please be aware that when we run this, the file should be present wherever we save the class1.py. The data set, the typing data set should also be present there. So I have downloaded a train data set. So we'll run it just for yourself. Okay, now you can see the file has like loaded successfully and we can start with the operation. So if we, if we want to, if you want to see the different operations, which are the very basics of pandas is right. We know our data set is the name of the data set is data set. So we can say that data set dot info. And followed by the parenthesis, we'll get. Now you see the type of the column is integers, objects for string. And again, float is also for the like numer numbers and int is also for the numbers. Now we can also give data set dot describe. So here it will describe, it will give the mean median of all the columns which are numeric. 
like passenger ID, we have the count, total number of counts is 891, mean is 446, standard deviation is 257. So minimum value of the passenger ID is one. And so you can see the value varies for all the different columns, so wife, P class, age, sibling SP, parts and pair. So let's start with our first topic, how to create a data frame. Suppose we say that df is equals to pd dot data and just give tab you will get options to select this data frame so now if you either we can run the uh, python session through this debug com uh, through this run command or we can also run it by line by line so if i highlight this entire line and I, if i press control enter then it will be executed so you can see so if i give now what is df it will show it, it's an empty it's just an empty structure is created with not even the structure just a type df is of type data frame even you can give press type the data Okay, now we'll add the columns. The third column we'll add is the country. So what we will do, we will execute these three rows. Now if you press to go and just simply type df you will see the two rows is being added to this data frame. Now, if you give df.info this, and even if you type now, type data, type df, you will get the type of this df, which is a data frame. Okay. Now, if you want to add a new row at the bottom, how do we add? Like initially, there was no record in this data frame, so we have used the above method, which I have shown. If you want to add a new rows, how do we achieve that? It's simple.
will and now we'll use a uh, the function of pandas series to add a new code and then now what we'll do we'll add a new the Now we'll give index is equals to or simply we'll do this home and we'll see how what happens. Now just now type new rows, give tab and it will come new rows, press enter. So it has three this series has three values name age and the country which is the starting now how to add it in our df pandas data set so that is simple df dot there is an append like append means adding the row at the bottom or at the last of your data set so a b append new row comma shift and control enter or you don't give now we can see here we can only append a series if ignore index is equal to true so what we'll do we'll take this ignore index and here here we give that ignore index is equal to true so now we can see that our data set is created but with incorrect values so how do we correct this so if you can see when we create a new row there we have not specified the column which we need to add like how do this program will know that angelo matthew should go into the name column age should go 28 should go into the age column and sri should go into the country column so what we need to do in this new row we need to give index equals to name comma age comma country now angelo matthew now will be mapped to name 28 will be mapped to age and the three will map to the country now you run this to again now you can see that the name age and country is populated correctly and we have we are we have successfully added the appended or rather appended a row to a data frame so the first task is completed now how to describe a data set is the next task the next start we are going to achieve once we have loaded our data set we can give we can see the head tail and shape of a data set for example for to see the head i give head you see if you give here it will display the first five record please note in python and 
it starts from zero. The subscripting it starts from zero. Similarly, if we give tail how to show it will display the last five records of a data set. If you don't want to see the five record, you can further reduce the number of counts. So you can see it shows only the first three rows of a data set. Now, if you want to see the shape, what is the shape of my data set? Then simply Okay, shape the fun. It's not a function, so that's why. So you can see that we have 891 rows and 12 columns. So the second topic is also completed. Now we'll see how to navigate the data frame. 